Builders need to own the means of securing their product. They need to have ownership. They need to have responsibility for this. No longer can the security be the province of the security elite. We can't police security in with checkpoints and central control. That doesn't work anymore. We can't be the people that say no, right? If you think about it, uh, the business is trying to build value. They're trying to put something out into production. And they're, they want to change all the things. They want to change things, make things go fast. And the security team is a lot of times thought as the voice of no. And it comes from deep down inside, if you build new systems or you change things, you're adding risk. And we know that. So let's slow that down. Let's think about it. You know, it's easier to not do something than to do something from the security perspective. If we just keep everything the same, we feel like we have a secure environment. We're doing our job. The problem is that destroys value. There's this great line from, uh, from the Agile Manifesto people um, that code that is not in production has no value. And this was one of the central tenets of the whole Agile methodology was to get that code into production faster, right? Getting into production faster increases value. So this is why Agile and DevOps has value. And anything we do to slow that down, we're actually destroying value. This, we're just like, we're costing the business money by slowing them down. So that doesn't work. We need security teams that can enable we can't do it. We can't do the security. The, the, the development teams have to do it themselves. They need ownership and responsibility. They can't be doing a handoff to another team and having us do the security stuff. Um, if we do the testing, if we do the threat modeling, if we do the scanning, the developers think of security as someone else's problem. It's not my problem. The security people are doing it. The security people are doing it, and it's someone else's problem. It's not my problem. So that doesn't work. The security team has to enable the developers to do security themselves. They need ownership. The notion of auditing from an outside group just doesn't work anymore.